hey, welcome back. So if something is working for us, we should do more of it, right? And we can use the same principle to really grow our reach and engagement on Facebook business pages. And specifically, what I mean is we can look at the content that we are posting and identify what's working best and what's not. And then based on that, do more of what's working best for us to get more reach and engagement without paying for Facebook ads, right? Let me log in to Facebook and show you how to do exactly this. Basically, we're gonna rely on the data. Let the data tell you what's working and what's not. So here I am logged into Facebook and this is one of the Facebook pages that I manage. So we're gonna go into insights. And we're going to look at the, the data on different content that we're posting and the reach and then engagement and then see what's working. So once you are there, you can scroll down uh, from overview tab. We're going to scroll down and look for this section called your most uh, five most recent posts. So these are five, but when I click on see all posts, it's going to show me now it's going to jump to the section called posts right here. So look at this. And now if I scroll down, here is my most recent posts and then the reach engagement and I can click on this and say show me the engagement rate and I can see hey what type of content is bringing me the most engagement and look at this so more more reach and this is a photo here's uh, this post has more reach more than average it's also a photo let's scroll down more a photo I can click on see more and see even more content look at this so six percent engagement and a lot of organic reach because i'm looking at the organic reach. this post has more than normal or more than average organic reach and it's also a photo so i can easily say in like 30 seconds i can say for this page images are working the best even though we do have links we do have look at this we do have videos we do have other type of content but for this page Photos is bringing us the most reach and also the engagement. And guess what? This data is different for different pages. For some of my pages, videos outperform the images. So for those pages, for that niche, for that industry, for that brand, we have to focus on videos to get more reach and engagement. But for this page, it seems like images are winning, right? Now, here's a, another thing I wanna show you. So even though you can scroll down and kinda click on see more and then go back in time. But there's an easy way you can extract all of this data. Facebook gives you all the data. So you can download, extract all of this data and do your analysis uh, inside tools like Excel, Google Sheets, or any other tool. Let me show you how to do that. So this is one way of looking at your content by just going to the insights and then overview or post and then looking at this data right here and then identifying what's working best for you, what's already bringing you engagement and reach, and then doing more of that in your content planning or content strategy moving forward in future. Now, I'm gonna go back to the overview and what I'm gonna show you is a way to export all of this data. So look at this thing right here. I'm gonna click on export data. And what we wanna do is, you're gonna have multiple options here. Uh, we want not the page level data, the post level data. So I'm gonna click on this, and then let's pick the, you can download Excel or CSV file, totally up to you. You can also select the date range. This is what I like about this tool. I can look at the data for 30 days, 60 days, or you know 90 days. So you can do analysis on any, any time period that you want. So let's say I wanna do uh, last month, so which was that. Uh, and then I want all page post data and then hit uh, export data, and this will save the Excel file on your computer. Now, I already have this data, so I'm gonna cancel this, and once you open this, this is what it's gonna look like. Let me resize this thing for you. So here's the post ID, the permalink, uh, the actual post, and what the type of the post, images or videos, the date posted, uh, life, uh, the total reach, and then total engagement. There's all kinds of data Facebook gives you and unfortunately not a lot of people use this and this could be very powerful now look at this so for this what I have done is so this column right here is the lifetime post total reach so what I've done is just click on this and sort by Z to A which means now I'm seeing the highest reach post on the top and then you know so forth then all the then the least reach post at the bottom and I can do all kinds of analysis in this and easily identify and by the way so I've done my sorting based on the reach. You can also do your sorting based on, so there is the uh, lifetime engaged user, lifetime paid post impressions. So there's all kinds of 
there is a column called engagement so you can do your analysis on the engagement as well so let's actually go back right here on the uh, the post total so I can even uh, do A to Z which means it's gonna be from the minimum to the maximum and you can kind of see hey this also helps you because you can look at uh, the, the post or the content type that's getting the least that's performing the worst and sometimes you can easily identify hey whenever we do this it's not working so let's just eliminate that and it's gonna bring up your whole page your whole engagement up or you can also do the other side or other way where you look at the top performing content which is what I like to do and then do identify you know what's working the best you know top two or three things and then do more of that thank you so much for watching so this is how you can use your data and look at the data and identify what's already working for you on your Facebook business page and then do more of that to grow your page, get more reach, get more engagement without paying anything for Facebook ads. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.